Hello, I'm Brendan with Wonko, and today I'm going to go over how to view your Wonko Mini Solar Surveillance Trailer via an Android device. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the Google Play Store and download the software, the application. It's called Cam Control. It's one word, and you can see what it looks like on my screen right here. Once you've downloaded that, we're going to want to click and open it. Once we've opened it, it's going to pop up, and it's going to say no entries found. That's because we haven't added any devices. So we're going to go up to the top right and select the settings and then go to devices. And then we're going to add our trailer here. Again, it says no entries because we haven't added the trailer. And then we're going to go up to the IP address. But you see here it says uh, device type. You don't have to worry about this device type, whether it's the video gateway or fa fast trace 2. We're going to leave that default at the video gateway. And then you're going to punch in the IP address. So we'll punch that in here now. And the IP address comes with your trailer. Uh, it's a sheet of paper that has all sorts of information about the IP addresses you use and the kind of the quality control. So once you've got that paper, you can punch in the IP address like we're doing now. And then you can keep the control port uh, default. And then the device name is whatever you want it to be. It's, it's for your reference. So for this video, we're going to call it the Wonko test unit. And then we're going to go down to uh, credentials. Uh, credentials, the username and password. This would be if your trailer had a username and password. This particular unit doesn't, so we're going to skip those fields and then go to site selection. So we're going to go up here and select the top right and go select, and then Wonko Yard is what we're going to name this site. And once we've got the name, we're going to go up to the top right and hit save. And then we're going to select it. And then once it's selected, you can see at the bottom it shows up now. So we've got everything. We're going to go to the top right and hit save. It's going to check the device and make sure it can connect to it. Once it does that, we'll be good to go. And all we're going to do is go back to the front page by clicking the top left here. And once you see that, you're going to see now Wonko Yard. The site shows up. We're going to just click on that. And since we've only got one device under there, it's going to go right to that device. And we should pull up a live feed here quickly of the Wonko test unit out in the Wonko Yard. And from the screen, we can do a number of things. We can save a screenshot of the current view. We can hear audio coming from the trailer if our trailer is set up for that. We can have multiple cameras. We can select those there. We can also control the camera. We can do this by dragging left or right, up or down. So right here, I'm going to show you how to view to the right. I'm going to show you how to view to the left here. And you can do this by dragging across the screen and then holding down once you've finished dragging. And that'll help you get across the screen. Uh, imagine that little circle that you see that's showing where my button presses are going. If that's my thumb, I'm using a screen control software, so obviously you can't see my fingers. But uh, my thumb is that what's pressing it down. If you don't hold down with your thumb, you can get more of those precise motions and movements from the camera. Uh, you're not going to get very far very quickly. So I do suggest if you want to make a large camera motion, you, you drag and hold that down to get a, a better movement. And there you have it. We've added our Wonko Mini Solar Surveillance Trailer to our Android device, viewed it remotely, and changed its camera direction. To view more Wonko videos, please visit wonko.com videos.